What is going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator. That is right, the game has finally released, and today we're going to be starting our career, and let's just get started here. So today we're going to be starting our career here in uh, Lawn Mowing Simulator, so let me go. We can skip the tutorial because we already did that, so let me go and name the company, um, which I, if I believe it was... Uh, TGR landscaping, so I'll be back. Alright, so we are ready to go. Here we go. We got TGR landscaping ready. We got Ron here, and he's going to be our startup guy here that's going to uh, basically get everything uh, situated. And now, if you guys watched the tutorial, then you know that we already did this. So we're just going to basically do it again. Uh, we could confirm it, right? With A. There it is. All right, so let's start the contract here. And like I say, if you guys watched it, if you guys watched this, uh, my first video on this game, which is actually the demo. So basically, we're just gonna get started here. So what we have to do is we gotta pick up some stuff. We got some some cutters that was laying around. Anything else around here? We got one more. So let's see what else is around here. I see it. Can I run? I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right, there we go. We gone cleared. Uh, now we can just grab the mower and we're going to start cutting. So without further ado, let's get to the mower. Now, some people was completely complaining about the way that I cut. Like, <laughs> now, the reason I cut like that was because this mower does not do lines. So it's like... Yeah, I could cut it a specific way if I wanted to. But, yeah, why would I spend time on a mower that doesn't do lines? Why? Why would I? So, anyway, this is my second line that I'm cutting right now. And, again, to show some of you guys, some of you want to criticize how I cut you want to make a big deal out of it here I here I do lines for you guys since you guys want to make a big deal out of it <laughs> anyway uh yeah your mower can bog down as you see I had to kind of bag up there to uh to get a cut <clears throat> but Basically, I'm very excited kind of to see what this game has to offer because I want to really get into those zero turn mowers, which I believe those are going to be fun uh, when we get into those types of mowers. Uh, we're going to go around the flower bed like that <clears throat> and then we're going to get this little patch over here and then we're gonna do the same thing it's, it's a very relaxing game to like if you just want to relax or you know take relieve some stress this game is actually kind of good not gonna lie it is actually kind of good some of you guys would be like why would you want to do that blah 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 well, I say this. Well, everybody's different. You know, some people enjoy it. Some people don't. Whatever. What you're going to do, you know? Nobody is forcing you to play it. No one's forcing you to watch it. So, it is what it is. And, so, hey, some of you guys can actually get yourself some practice. <laughs> some of you guys can get practice from it. You know, practice on it. If you guys are looking to open up your own business, practice. You know. Stimulations has came a long way, and I can definitely tell you that. To give you give you guys a little bit of third person. I just like using first person with the mower. I just, I don't know. It, it gives me the sense of uh, realism. 
And plus, it's easier to steer this dang thing in first person than third person. So you guys are probably going to see me use uh, first person a lot. But I'll try to give you guys a little bit of third person from here and there. Alright, let's go and do this flower bit real quick. I absolutely... I hate doing the flower beds. Like, even in real life, I hate doing flower beds, man. They throw off everything. You know, but once when you get the hang of it and you figure out each yard... Each yard is different in, like, in its own way, so... You know, like this for an example, it has like three flower beds. So you kind of got to cut with the flower beds for the lines to make sense. Because it at the time, it, it won't make sense, you know. But you will get the hang of it. You know, anybody that basically wants to do this in real life, you get, you get the hang of it. It's not that hard. You just got to... You have to really think about the flower bed, like, um, and figure out what type of line you want to do, or what type of line the customer wants, and then basically, you can kind of improvise. Like, for this one type, for an example, you can kind of do a line like this, if you wanted to. You could just go straight, and that will do your line. Um, that, I believe that will be the best thing to do with this type of yard, because I think it will actually come out and look good. If you do a line like that, but um, not with this mower, not with this mower. You gotta work yourself to death if you do it with this mower. With this mower, I'm just basically taking it easy and just doing what I'm doing. And almost took that flower out, but <laughs> I think the way that I'm cutting right now is kind of like the best way to do it. Some people will argue me to the bone saying that I'm doing it wrong, but. You know, I don't like using, like, this type of mower, it's pointless to use reverse, like, it's like, if you really have to back up, okay, use reverse, but not necessarily, like, it's not good for the yard because you start making, like, unnecessary tire marks. And then when I say unnecessary tire marks, I mean unnecessary tire marks. And that alone would mess up your uh, line that you're going for. So, like that, that would be completely unnecessary what I just did. And that, if the ground is still moist, it, you're, you might sink. And the, the weight of the mower is obviously, that's going to damage the yard. So, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's best just to go with the flow of the yard and just, like, do, do rounds, you know. Sometimes rounds are better. But like I say, there's always somebody out there that's going to argue to the bone that you shouldn't do it like that. <laughs> so, honestly, each of their own, every mower is different. Like I should, like, every operator is different. Every operator is going to have their own technique and their easy ways of doing it or dealing with it. So, just do you, I say. I, that's what I say anyway, you know, just do you and... I don't have, you know, kind of enjoy it a little bit because this, this, this type of job, boy, like I say, I said it before, but been there, done that, and let me tell you, it, it is one competitive thing. <laughs> it is one competitive thing, and you gotta have fun somehow or some way, or... If you don't, it's going to be the most miserable job that you'll ever have. Or it'll be the most miserable thing. And you wouldn't like it. You would not like it. So you gotta have fun. And you gotta do... Do you sometimes. And just... You know, unless the customer, of course. If the customer wants it a certain way, then cut it the way that the customer wants it. But if not, have fun. But don't... Don't, don't go... Don't, don't do anything stupid is what I'm saying. But, you know, you're the artist at the end of the day. That's, that's, you, that's another thing I usually say is that, you know, you're the artist. You know, you're the one, you're the creator of the yard design. So, you know, make it count and basically just make it look good. At the end of the day, if it looks good, 
nobody has a reason to complain unless you get a Karen then you got they have no reason to complain about you but this strip here it's kind of difficult getting it not gonna lie to you so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bag up and knock this out now so that way I don't have to worry about it later because there's no need for me to come back over here so let me just knock this strip out now and then I just have to focus on the middle we're almost done. Like I, I said it before and I say it again, but if you can make the time fly by, the, it's nothing. It's nothing. But you got to distract yourself, you know. Don't distract yourself too much to where you start messing stuff up. But distract yourself to where you're not even thinking about the job. And I guarantee you, man, the time is going to fly right by. And you're not even going to, like... You, by the time that you look down again, you're like, oh my god, I'm actually done. <laughs> Trust me, man. It is definitely, you want, the, the faster that you can make the time fly by, the better. Alright, so, as you guys can see, we're almost done. You know, I was talking the whole time, but that's how I do things. I'm sorry if you guys don't like it, but that's how I do things. You know, I, I done... Yeah, I, I was doing landscaping for like 15 years, so again, I apologize if you guys don't like it, but that's just how I do it. When I mow, when I mow, man, I mow, and I really get into the zone, and I think, and I talk, and that's just how I distract myself, you know. That's how I keep things from like, like this from being boring, you know. And like I say, everybody has their own different ways with it. And I'm going, and here I go again. You see what I'm doing? <laughs> but everybody has their own ways of like, uh, what's the word for it? Um, dealing with it or main, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but everybody's different, you know, have handling it, you know. But I had someone comment down below that said that they wanted to get into landscaping. They wanted to open up their own landscaping. Uh, I, I think I commented, I said, you know, go for it, you know. Like I say, at the end of the day, do you, you know. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to have to be on that mower. And at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to have to put in the hours on that mower. So, you got to make that job interesting for you because if you're just going by the book, I guarantee you, you're not going to last that long because you're going to get burnt out from it if you don't find joy in it, if you don't find anything, you know, you got to have some type of passion for it. You got to have, you know, and that goes basically for any job. If you're not passionate, you're going to be one miserable person doing that job, you know, so you got to be passionate about what you're doing because if you're not you can basically forget it being long long term but anyway we right now we're knocking out the edges and oh boy this is where the game is going to get very i see a, a big patch here i can get but we still have a little bit little bit left that we're gonna have to get so let me see if I can find it real quick it's probably gonna be under the bushes let me try not to get a flower so far I've been doing good you know even though I've been distracting myself from talking I mean distracting myself with talking um, I have not hit nothing I never mind I just hit something but I didn't damage nothing, and that is the good thing. You know, I didn't damage nothing. I didn't run over no flowers. I'm going to have to use first person. There we go. All right. That is about as good as I'm going to get it with a mower, you know. If someone had the weed eater, they will, they will be able to get it, but I gotta try to do this with the mower. I am done, technically, but my OCD is gonna kick in if I don't cut these little strips, so I'm gonna knock these out right now, so that way, you know, I am not, so that way my OCD don't kick in.
All right, we're done, ladies and gentlemen. That little patch, I would, but I don't want to. I don't really feel like it. But there you go. There's your yard. I hope that's was cut a little bit better for you guys. That some of you. I hope that's cut better for you because some of you guys are. You some of you guys are something else. Let me tell you. Some of you guys are actually care. But anyway, for the most part, it looks pretty good. And like I say, the mower does not do striping. So you basically got to do or use what you got or use what they give you. Um, but once when we get into those those bad boys, oh, we're going to have some fun. But there you go. That's the first mission. Uh, we did pretty good. Uh, all right. So anyway, that's day one here at uh, TGR Landscaping. And basically, uh, we have some more. We can upgrade the mower, uh, I believe, if we wanted to. We can purchase a headquarters, which actually, here you go. Here's your headquarter buildings. We need 160,000 euro. Ah, man. But anyway, right now we have a headquarters already, so we don't necessarily need it. But look at that. Look at what we get into like a modern estate. Oh, man, that's going to be so nice to be that professional. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you guys know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.